Now, 20 years ago, the nonprofit organization Donate Life America established April as National Donate Life Month. The purpose is to raise awareness about donation and encourage people to register as organ, eye, and tissue donors to ultimately help save lives. Local 5's Raina Garcia spoke with an Iowa State softball player who has a personal connection to this cause. This is Carly Charles and her dad, Chris, and she describes him as her biggest fan and her best friend. Chris is on the waiting list to receive a kidney, and while it can be difficult to watch her dad go through this, Carly wants to do her part by raising awareness about organ donation, not just in hopes of helping her dad find a match, but to also encourage others to share their stories. After Carly Charles strikes out a batter, Cyclone fans erupt with cheers. But the person likely cheering the loudest is back home in Texas. He's the ultimate supporter for sure. She's talking about her dad, Chris, who she also considers the ultimate softball dad. He's kind of created his own community within like the softball dad. So it's kind of funny. He literally knows everyone's parents. Nothing has stopped him from always supporting Carly, not distance or even the serious health issues he's been dealing with since Carly was young. I was just one years old. Um, he had kidney failure and um, my uncle, he was um, blessed enough to give us, give my father his kidney. Doctors told Chris that the kidney probably wouldn't last him more than 10 years. Miraculously, it lasted him over twice as long. However, Chris is still in need of a new kidney. Back in 2021, Carly took to social media to share her dad's story. She was amazed at the response she got. The first time I made the post, there was like, so many people like flooding everyone's DMs, my mom's DMs, my DMs. And I, in the post, I said like, I didn't really believe social people out there on social media cared. And so um, just like hearing people, there's one woman, um, she DM'd me and she just like went and got, got tested. Unfortunately, that woman wasn't a match, but Carly and her family were grateful that she even cared enough to try. Carly plans to get tested once she finishes her softball career. My dad won't allow me to get tested until I'm done playing, but I told him um, when that time comes, like if I need to make that sacrifice, I'm 100% down because like that's my best friend. Chris is one of over 100,000 people that are on the national transplant waiting list. When it comes to organ donation, there's a couple options. Finding a living match or receiving a donation from a registered donor after their death. Heather Butterfield from the Iowa Donor Network says almost anyone can help save a life. Here's how. To register to become organ and tissue donors, and they can do that online at iowadonornetwork.org, and make sure that they share their wishes with their family as well. Now, when you do register as a donor through the Iowa Donor Registry, that is only goes into effect once someone passes away. If people are interested in learning more and potentially seeing if they can be a match for someone as a living donor, then they would want to contact a transplant center in their area. So here in Iowa, that would be the University of Iowa has a transplant center, as well as Unity Point Methodist in Des Moines. Another way to help is to spread the word about organ donation and the need for donors, because you never know who it might reach. I think bringing more awareness to it brings out a lot of more people like willing to donate. And so um, like when our coaches heard the story, like Coach Court, like she was all down. She knows a lot of donors and she shared it. And it's kind of like that's how you get like things going. And so um, it's just that's the thing that I wish would happen more. And Heather also told me that about 80% of the people on that national uh, transplant waiting list are in need of a kidney. So there's a huge need for all types of organs, but uh, um, that one is especially in high demand. And what a, a touching bond Carly yes. and her dad have. I love, love, love that story. love what they're doing to bring awareness. All right. Raina, thank you so much for that.